Hey YouTube, it's been a while since I've uploaded a video or spoken to any of you. It's 7am or quarter to 7 in the morning and I'm just out getting my daily steps in, trying to hit 10k steps per day now because as you know, the world's in a bit of a, in a bit of a <laughs> um, chaotic way at the moment with this whole COVID-19 and everything being in lockdown. So it means since March this year, gyms have been closed, um, retail businesses have been closed, pretty much everything is closed off. Um, and we've had to self-isolate for a while um, and just like sort of stay indoors. And in doing so, I, I took maybe two months off training um, period, right? So I didn't train at all for about two months and I just started eating absolute junk food, ate whatever I want, didn't really care about sort of what I was eating um, and I've gained a lot of weight in doing so. I mean, I started it off at about 60, 68 kilos. I started off the beginning of lockdown, March this year, took two months off training um, and now I think when I weighed myself I was about 78 kilos. So I'm 10 or 11 um, kilos over what my usual weight is um, and I've gotten really lazy, my mentality has slipped within training. I mean throughout this whole entire, I've been training again for maybe the past two or three weeks and I've hit one week where I did four sessions and then maybe one or two sessions every week after that. And then I'll go through days where I'll try and eat clean or I'll go through like weeks where I'll try and eat clean and then I'll end up having like two or three binge days um, a week and then drinking alongside that. So mentality wise, it's fucked. Um, yeah, it's it's not great. I've, I've, I've slipped. So this is this is it, I'm trying to actually get back onto it at the moment um, because I'm not really happy of where I'm at at the moment. So there's a few things that I'm gonna do to help actually get that started and sort of get myself back on track. So at home I have a, a little whiteboard on my wall that in March I wrote a bunch of goals for which I was hitting consistently. Then lockdown happened around the 20th and like from there it just went downhill and like yeah er everything went to shit. Um, so today at some point I'm going to redo all those goals and sort of tailor it to how the conditions are and what we're allowed to do. So obviously no gyms are open so I have to do home workouts and use my brother's sort of garage gym that he's got at the moment um, to do my workouts. So I'm going to set those goals, I hope you can hear me because it's fucking windy, and by the seafront it's such a miserable day today, it's been sunny 90% of the time um, but the one day that I want to record down the beach and get like a nice shot of the scenery. It's miserable, but you can't deny what of you. Like it's just it's lovely down here. Portsmouth's a shit hole. This is quite nice. <laughs> so yeah. So the goal for today is I'm starting off small. Um, all I want to do is hit my daily calories, hit my daily steps, train, redo my goals, um, and sort of get them structured so I have something to aim for. So it puts me in a good mindset because my sleeping pattern has been fucked for the most part as well. I mean, because I've not really been training and I've not really been keeping up with my YouTube videos and I was meant to start a podcast off in March, uh, I've just been sitting down playing COD for like 18 hours a day. Um, I wish I was exaggerating on some days, it literally was 18 hours. It's horrid. Um, and I'll do a, a physique update. If I remember to put the physique update over this footage so you don't just see me walking around um, I will um, and you can sort of get a grasp on where I'm at at the moment again I'm not I'm not not lean I'm just not lean for my standards I'm so used to being relatively small that I feel genuinely uncomfortable at the size that I'm at now so it's really a good sort of indicating a good motivator to get my ass into gear and train properly so yeah, so today it's just, um, oh, that's another one, do a food shop as well. So food shop, train, steps, hit my calories, redo my goals, and apply for some more jobs. Because of this lovely thing called COVID-19 um, and businesses having to shut up, the place that I work at shut in March, and we were told a few weeks ago 
that um, the place is closing down due to see how COVID's affected it with um, funds and stuff. They've had to pay their employees and not really get any revenue in return. So they've dramatically lost a lot of money and they're closing stores. So we're one of the ones to go. So I need to do that as well. So it's, it's not really a, a massive day. Um, if I do other stuff like, oh, if I want to do other stuff, I will. But for the most part, that's all I want to do. It's just to start off small and not really give myself too much to do because then at some point I just won't do it and then it will get all on top of me and just, you know, haven't done anything in four months, three or four months since March. So I'm going to start off small and just work my way back up. So I'll take you guys along with me for my training session. But at the moment, I'm just going to get my steps in, listen to some music and get on with my day. My hair is an absolute mess we need well i need a barber or hairdresser to open as soon as possible to get um this <laughs> sorted anyway it's a few hours later from the last clip you saw um i've come home had a shower not really eaten anything at the moment usually i'll eat around 12 um and it's currently 1 30. um yes yeah, so usually I eat around eat around 12 just so i can save a lot of my calories towards the end of the day but i'm not hungry so i'm not going to force myself to eat um it's the start of a diet so i'm going to make the most of it while i can just have bigger meals at night at the moment i've just got my monster and a bottle of water but like i said one of the things that i want to do today is write my monthly to-do list so i have a whiteboard that i used um, for January, February, and was using it for March um, this year to write my goals on. And as you can see, it still says March 2020, and it is not March 2020, it's probably July, or 1st of July, by the time you're seeing this, depending, depending on when I upload it. So I think these need to be re rewritten. Jesus, I cannot speak. My sleeping pattern is absolutely messed up. Like last night, I didn't sleep at all, and I had maybe an hour nap earlier today when I got in, um, and then from then I just, like I said, had a shower, applied for some jobs, um, or I rewrote my CV, then applied for some jobs, uh, and then you know, had a nap at some point. Uh, I'm not really sure. Time just seems to meld together when, um, when you're in lockdown. But yeah, so the idea that I want to do now is to write a few goals that I want to achieve for the month of July. Now the idea or the premise of these goals or what I want these goals to achieve is to push me more towards what I want to achieve for the rest of the year. Which is something we'll go over in our later video, like the goals that I want to do throughout the rest of 2020. But for now, because I haven't done anything in the last three, four months, and I'm not exactly in the best position I've ever been in, I just want to start writing some goals down that I can just like sort of get into action within the next few weeks. Um, one, to give myself some momentum going forward and to sort of get the ball rolling. Um, and two, it gives me something to aim for. So I'm not just like waking up at, because I haven't worked and I haven't been going to the gym and there's not really, I haven't done any videos, I've done no podcasts, I've done nothing. There's not really been a sense of urgency to wake up. So I've just been laying in bed till like 12 in the afternoon doing absolutely nothing. So these goals are gonna sort of get me out there. So, uh, July. So if any of you want to get yourself into a good mindset and, and a good action plan, I suggest, it doesn't have to be on a whiteboard. I mean, this whiteboard is pretty big. I got from Staples for like £3.50. I've also got another one down here that I haven't opened, which I want to use um, in future videos. It's just like just grabbing a piece of paper um, and a pen. Or, I wouldn't say use your notes on your phone, it's better if you write them down um, because everyone says it, so it must be good. So I always write them down. And if you break your phone, you've lost your your to-do list or your goals. Just yeah, grab a piece of paper, grab a pen, write down some goals. Let's start off easy, like I'm gonna do now. 
I'm not going to go boost the wall on these goals like I had for like the months earlier in the year, where it was like train six times a week, hit every weigh-in, hit every calories or hit every daily calorie intake, read two books, make four videos, do this many podcasts, because I haven't done anything for so long. And I think one of the things that people make the mistake of doing is, it's, it, you can put this in the prospect of training as well. So, for instance, if you haven't trained, like I haven't in like two or three months, going in to a weight session or sort of training session, trying to lift the same as what you did three months prior, you're going to have a very bad time. You're not going to be able to do it. And you're not going to be able to lift it. You're going to have a very bad workout and you could cause injuries. Now, in the aspect of this, if you set yourself goals that are too, let's see, out of your reach for that moment, for that point in time, one, you're not going to achieve them. Two, it's just going to make you feel very unmotivated to carry them on because in your eyes, you may have put like 10 goals for the month to do, but you may have only done four. Whereas if you started off with four goals for that month and worked up to 10, you'd be hitting them every single month. And you can add... Add them on. Like, if you're halfway through a month and you've smashed all your goals, add another one on. S simple as that. So, the first one I'm going to do is just get... first goal that I'm going to make is, like, get my steps in. So... Alright, so I've just written down five goals um, that I want to achieve for this month. Now, like I said, these are going to be very basic and very... Simple to do, the onus is on me to do them, but this is going to put me in a good stead for one, getting leaner, getting my physique back down to where I would like it to be, and two, it's going to help me be a bit more consistent with YouTube. Um, so the goals that I have are 10k steps a day, train four times weekly, um, read the Why We Sleep book um, by Matthew Walker, which is a book that I bought earlier this year, which uh, I started reading in March. Got um, like maybe 50 pages into it and then shit the fam. Um, release four videos. Now, four videos could be either vlogs or informative videos. I'm probably going to do like one or two informative videos. I'm definitely doing one. Um, I'm going to try and push two informative videos out and then a few vlogs like this um, throughout the month of July. And then release a podcast, but I've put a question mark next to that because that's not really my main priority at the moment. Um, my main priority is to sort of get myself back on track in terms of um, in terms of fitness, but I've just thought of one that I'm going to add at the bottom, and it's so I just added one at the bottom, which is just sort out website. Now, for those of you who didn't know, I do have a website. Um, I'll put the link in the description for it. Um, basically, I, I kind of I don't want to redo any of the images, so I think it looks fine the way it is. I just need to redesign what content I'm putting on there, um, and sort of see if I can put something out every single day on that website to uh, bring traffic and sort of help people and provide more information for people. Now, some of the things that I haven't put on here, which are definitely going to help, one of my goals for the end of this, for like the remainder of July, is to hit a 1,000 followers on Instagram. So I haven't put like post daily on Instagram on there because for me that's just a given that I'm going to try and do anyway. It's not really something that I need to wake up and look at every single day. But stuff like this, like training... Um, 10k steps a day, that's all stuff that, at the moment, I'll be completely honest with you, I cannot be fucking asked to do, um, like, it, I'm training today at half two with my brother at his gym in his garage, um, so I'll record that for you, it's probably going to be what plays next, and then I'll talk over, um, a bit of that, but we'll go through that later on, um, so yeah, so that's just, a, <laughs> just, a, I'd much rather be sat here, looking at my TV, playing Warzone, but, you know, it's not productive, and I think I've been doing it too much and putting it off. So, it's time to sort of grab my life and sort it out and guide it to where I kind of want to end up, where I want to go, not just sit in the position that I'm in now, making no progress and doing fuck all. So, so that's gone on my wall up there. So, like, every time... I wake up, just sort of see it on the wall, and I know that I'm making progress towards it, um, and it's just a reminder every single day. But on the aspect of organisation, one thing that I did is make myself a yearly calendar. 
So this only took like maybe 15, 20 minutes to make. It's literally just month by month with the dates in them, little boxes so I can write stuff in them. I use this mainly for videos and books and podcast ideas to keep on there. So if you're not new to the channel, you've seen like two or three of these videos that are, that are already made. Um, then the sticky notes are just the books that I wanted to read for that month. I did get fairly good into it, I've just never read anything past um, March or past February. So yeah, so it's literally just January all the way to December, little boxes. I'm going to start writing everything in here that um, I need to do. So if I have any video ideas, if I'm not going to make any vlogs, anything like that, it's going to go straight in here. Um, I have nothing more to say. That's... But I have nothing more to say. I'm going to get ready now, finish that monster, and then... Uh, grab my headphones, I'll put my headphones on charge now so they're not dead and then I'm going to walk to my brother's house which is about a half hour, 45 minute walk so that should take us well over like 15k steps for the day so that's one done um, I'm going to train, I don't know what we're training today it's Monday, I'm going to assume chest because <laughs> it's international chest, chest day um, so I'll see you in the workout I'm going to drink this monster What's up guys and welcome to the workout commentary portion of the video. Now brief little explanation of what's going on. It's a back and chest day. So I think I did three back exercises, three chest exercises. Started off with 100 kilos on the bench press and I managed three sets of six. It's either set, This is either a set of seven. No, it's, it is three sets of six. Um, so as I said earlier in the video, it's not ideal if you've taken time off like I have, taken two months off of training, to go in at the same frequency, volume or intensity um, of your workouts as you would do once before because it could lead to injuries. Now, what I was doing before was 100 kilos on my bench press, but I haven't just went straight back into benching 100 kilos again. Um, two or three weeks prior to this, I think I was maxing out my bench press at 80 kilos for maybe like four or five reps, like my strength had completely plummeted, um, as opposed to like the sort of three sets of a hundred kilos, a six, seven, eight reps, or more in the seven to eight rep range, um, as I was before. But I've kind of built back up to it, and sort of I'm regaining my strength um, to say, um, and making sure I'm like properly warming up in between these as well. And that's pretty much all I want to talk about for this workout. Um, I kind of want to address what, what's going to be going on with the videos going forward. Like I said, um, there's going to be a mix between vlogs and informative videos. I'm going to try and get two informative videos out by the end of July, which is when I'm recording this voiceover, um, and at least one vlog per week. Now, I want to kind of take you guys on the journey of how... I'm gonna gonna go from like 78 to like 80-ish kilos, which is what I'm weighing at the moment, which is hands down the heaviest I think I've ever, ever been, and the most uncomfortable I've ever been. So I'm gonna take you from sort of where I am now and sort of document what I'm doing, what I'm eating, how I'm gonna shift all this weight during lockdown when gyms aren't a thing. I mean, luckily, I'm fortunate enough to have this sort of um, area for training, a little bit of a setup, so I can still do squats, bench, which is relatively lucky, but I'll be doing like home workouts for you guys so you can sort of follow along. So that's how this is going to go down in the next few weeks. So, yeah, stay tuned. Um, anyway, this workout was coming to an end. I'll put the workout that I did in the description if you do want to follow it. But anyway, enjoy the rest of the vlog. Alright guys, so I'm back home now, um, I'm about to eat the first meal of the day, like I said um, before I went to the gym, I wasn't exactly hungry um, earlier today, so I just went to the gym, had a pretty good workout as you guys would have seen from the clips, um, all I've had is like a bag of crisp, a monster, two litres of water, um, which I've got some more of there, and I've just got two bits of toast with some cheese, ham and eggs on it. And I've got a pack of rice, some chicken, and some veg there. And then all I'm going to do is finish the night off with a protein shake. Also, like I said, I've been up all night and I'm extremely tired. The fact that I haven't eaten 
Um, <laughs> and I've trained, I've done like 15, 7, I think 17 K steps today. I've done a fair amount. Um, so yeah, uh, today's been very productive. Uh, I've pretty much got all the goals done that I wanted to do. Applied for a job, got my 10k steps in. Um, I've stuck to my calories. I'm probably going to be way under with these. Um, I trained. Um, I put some goals down. And then tomorrow what I'm going to do is just sort of write some video ideas. Or I'm going to start doing some video, um, writing down some video ideas. And then sort of structuring them out along here. And then tomorrow I'm also going to start out... Uh, reading my Why We Sleep book by Matthew Walker. Um, I'm actually quite tired as well. Like I said, I haven't slept all night to, in attempts to fix my sleeping pattern. So that is that is today. Very uh, a quite productive day, but I haven't really done much. I've just literally, it, it's just I've just done what I've needed to do to set myself up for a good start to actually getting these goals and getting my weight down again. So in the next video, I'll weigh myself, give you guys my starting weight, um, break down like the calories and macro, break down my calories and my macros, and how I'm going to be structuring my training um, around what I've, uh, what my goals are, and then how I'm going to sort of track progression. So that's it. I'm going to eat this food, watch Rush Hour Two, and then I'm going to head to bed, and then wake up tomorrow morning, rinse and repeat. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's good to be back, and I'll see you in the next vlog.